Hey, Elliot from Live Webinar here, and welcome to the tutorial video on how to go live on social media using Live Webinar. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to broadcast to Facebook, but the other social media channels that are available will follow a similar procedure. The Broadcaster social media feature is available as an add-on which can be purchased for every paid account in Live Webinar. Once you have purchased it, you will have access to this option in your Live Webinar room. Are you ready to get started to broadcast to Facebook with Live Webinar? Firstly, you will have to set up your webinar room. Open the Share menu by clicking either the plus icon in the top left corner of the screen or the Open Share menu in the middle of the screen. Next, select the option Broadcast to Facebook, YouTube or Vimeo. On the following screen, select the platform you'd like to broadcast your event to. Select Facebook from the available platforms to stream to and then open a separate browser tab and log into your Facebook account. Navigate to your profile page and click the Live Video button if you're using a personal profile or a Create Live button if you're using a page instead. For this tutorial, I am using a personal profile. In the Go Live section, click Set Up Live Video. As a side note, if you're going live from a page, you can create a test broadcast to be sure that everything is configured properly. And if you're using a personal profile, you'll be able to view the broadcast in the video box located here. You will then have to select a video source and you will need to choose a streaming software option. Scroll down and copy the stream key and then click on advanced settings and copy the server URL. You can toggle on the persistent stream key option here if you want to reuse the same key every time you go live. So go back to your live webinar room and paste them into the corresponding fields inside the live webinar meeting room configuration. This is where you can select the layout for your stream and remember, the layout can be changed throughout the stream whilst it's active. Then click the Start Streaming button. Once it is connected to the live stream, you can choose to hide the window and you will be able to open up the pop-up window at any time throughout the stream by clicking on the social media icon in the top bar. Return to the browser tab that has Facebook Live running and click the Go Live button in the bottom left corner. And there you go. You're all set up to broadcast your first live stream to Facebook. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more videos like this. Also, check out our other videos for more hints and tips over here and here.